Good evening. I'm reporting to you from the depths of hell because I feel like utter crap. I wish, I really, really wish this was a day of celebration, but I am so sick right now. I can like barely keep my head up. I am so sick, but I'm like, I'm doing my best to try to move on because I want to celebrate. Just a little, I want to celebrate with you. And I'm doing my best to be happy because I finally, 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 I have reached 40 pounds lost. Yay. Hi, today's December 18th, 2022. In case you didn't know, my name is Lisa. Celebration music, woohoo, like that, you know. Um, oh my gosh. It's been, it's been a really, really long journey to this point. Oh my God. And by really long, I mean, it's only been like, what, six months, let's see. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, six and a half months. Semi-long journey. I started in June, 2022, and I lost 30 pounds very quickly. The next five pounds I lost maybe like an average rate and then the five after that to get to this point was like complete and utter torture. It was like a combination of the holidays and like hormone malfunction, dysfunction from the seasons and just being sick for like two months. Like that's what did it. That's what made it so difficult to lose weight. I couldn't go to the gym because I was sick. I've only been once these past two months. I went once in November and I've gone once in December and I was planning on going several times this past week, but then I got the really weird illnesses with the sores. You can guess what it is, the pre-K illness. Um, I got it because I hold hands with preschoolers <laughs> and obviously I cannot go to the the gym with this disease because it'll just spread to everybody at the gym because I'll touch all the equipment. They'll touch the equipment and they'll get it. Sucks. Sucks for me, sucks for them. I don't want to inflict my plague on everyone like a leper. It's just not going to do it. Um, <laughs> and it just goes to show I do lose weight, like significantly more weight when I am both dieting and working at the same time. If I'm just dieting, it's it's just not enough. I can't, I can't do just one thing. I have to be very active. I have to weight lift and I have to eat right. So my plan going forward is just to try to avoid getting sick as best I can. I don't know how well I'm gonna do that because winter's like another three months, but I'm gonna do my best with that. And it will be very hard to lose weight over the next two months. It will be um, challenging because of the seasons. It'll be challenging because it's gonna be cold. And you can't, your body just, you know, it's like a lizard kind of person, you know, that's why I feel like. Your, your hormones and your, your thyroid doesn't function as well when it's cold. Um, it's a little bit better because I'm in the South, not as bad as it would be if I was in Michigan. Um, so I, I have to just take care, try to maintain as best as possible, try to lose in increments, in tiny little increments. But the solstice is coming up and I think it's only in a few days. It's like, it's, yeah, it's today's the 18th, so it should be in like a couple of days. But I will be moving back to Michigan this summer and so I do need to lose as much weight as possible now to make sure I am planning for that really, really harsh winter next year. But there will be other benefits to moving back to Michigan. I'll be paying significantly less in housing by like basically one third of what I'm paying right now. And um, that includes utilities and stuff. And so I'll be able to spend more money towards um, healthy activities like um, really nice gym membership. Um, I do have one here, but you know, I won't have to worry about paying so much. Um, and definitely buying healthier food. You know, it's, it's, everybody wants to buy organic. You want to buy meat. Meat's really expensive. Organic's expensive. I think I paid like $4 for an organic apple the other week. God. Um, so I'll be able to afford that better <laughs> next year. So that there is an upside to this. And, um, I'm also thinking about pr pretty much decided to try and do virtual speech therapy next year, just because I, uh, God, I, I'm, I'm really struggling with all the illnesses from working with people in person and I kind of seem to give my body time to recover, essentially. I need to make sure that I'm just not nearly as sick as I've been. And I feel like if I can avoid getting sick, it'll be easier to lose weight, even in the winter time. And I'm going to make a New Year's resolution video soon and I'm going to talk more about some of the goals I have going forward next year. But um, as for the goal I had this year, my goal was to lose 50 pounds by the end of December. That didn't happen, that's okay. I lost 40 pounds and that's about 80% accuracy. That's really, really good. Okay, yeah, 40 is not 50, but 40 is way more than zero. I did a good job is what I'm saying, okay? You know, any amount of weight you lose is a good amount if you need to lose weight. Obviously, if you don't need to lose weight, don't lose weight. But if you need to, if you need it for your healthy lifestyle, 
you did a good job. You lose two pounds, you did a good job. But next year, I want to lose 100 pounds on top of the 40 I've already lost. It's, it's a big amount. It can technically be done. Technically, you can healthily lose up to 104 pounds of fat per year. Um, and so 100 is a big ask. And I'm doing that to an 8% accuracy. I'll be happy with anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds lost, but I am obviously aiming for that top tier 100 pounds lost. So by the end of December 2023, I want to be between either 120 and 140 pounds lost. Overall, to get to my goal weight, I need to lose about 172 pounds total. Um, that's 172 pounds left to lose, which would make it 212 pounds total. Meaning if everything goes really well and I'm losing weight at a steady rate, I could be at my goal weight by December 2024. So that's two years from now. Yeah, it's a long time, but it'll be worth it. And I just feel like that's like also just a good time to get things done. I'll be like what, 35 years old, I'll be mid thirties. I'll still be young. I'll still be able to go out and do things. Um, hopefully I'll be married. <laughs> hopefully I'll be trying to have kids. That would be great. And it's gonna be a really long journey um, as said. And I really hope I can inspire other people um, with this journey. And I can hope I inspire people to lose weight and or get healthy or fit and, or anything. Cause if I can show I can do it, then you can do it too, right? And it will be difficult, but it's exciting difficult, which is the best kind of difficult and the best kind of exciting. So stay tuned. I hope I can update you on the next five pounds sooner rather than later. I'm working really hard. Um, as soon as I'm better, as soon as we're past the holidays, it'll be way easier once you don't have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, like one after the other. It's gonna be much easier. Anyways, I hope you have a good Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. And I'll see you later. Bye.